thank you for joining me. Did, with an experienced side out there, did you make that a bit more difficult than it should have been? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I think uh, we, we expected to dominate play. We expected really uh, to move on from last week with a very, very similar side out. I think we did probably dominate the game in the first half, but even with that, we still gave the ball away cheaply um, and give them a heads up really to, to come and have a go at us. Uh, and, and even more so in the second half, I think we gave it away even worse. Uh, we expect the lads to get on the ball, spend time on the ball and move the ball fluently and we didn't do that today. Do you think there was a sense of complacency about the play? I wouldn't say complacency, I think we tried to move the ball from back to front just a little bit too quickly um, and sometimes you've got to spend just that fraction of a second longer on the ball to see what things develop in front of you. Move the ball shorter rather than go from literally from back to front uh, and that opens up play a little bit better for you when you want to play that kind of football. One player that has stood out for you today is Tom Conlon. He's not featured as much in the first team recently, but he impressed you out there. Yeah, I mean, in the last, well, in, in any of the games that he's played in the reserves, just like all the lads, they were at the socks off. But today and, and in the last game, I think he has absolutely put a really good shift in. He closes players down, he puts a foot in, but then he does try and do the other side. He, he wants to play, he wants to get on the ball, he wants to get us going. Uh, and I, I think, yeah, I don't think he'll have done himself any harm with his performance today. When a player isn't featuring in the first team like that and they are playing for the reserves and they have a good game like Tom has today, is it a case of then you knocking on the gaffer's door and saying, look, I've been impressed with this player, yeah. I think you should maybe consider him? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the gaffer's the first one, he'll come to me. I don't even have to go to him, but if, if he is busy, then I do go to him and I'll have my opinion. The gaffer I'll have is, you know, um, but the lads don't need telling whether they've done well or they've, done, or they've not done, done well. Um, we, we do that because that's that's the nature of the beast. But they know when they've done well, uh, and I think Tom knows that he's you know not done himself any harm today. It's the first time we've had to speak to you since John Askey came in. What's your relationship with like with him? What's he, what's he been like to work with? Well, fortunately, I, I've known John for for a long time. I know know the whole of his family, so that made it a lot easier for me and probably for John. Um, he, he's a lovely bloke, you know. Um, and when it comes to the football side of things, he wants to do things in the right way. He wants to set his. He's got his own ideas of how he wants to set up his team. He wants to play football. He wants to impart it, impart his knowledge onto the players, and he wants to do them all, all together. You know, he he's doing everything right from what from what I can see. But that's not my, not not for me to make that that um, decision. But from from outside looking in, uh, it looks like he's he's a little bit more settled, uh, and he's brought a, a different kind of atmosphere into the place at the moment. When a new manager comes in like this, do you sit them down and, and talk them through the sort of prospects that you have in, in your academy and who you would like to perhaps see push for the first team? No, I think he sits me down, to be honest. Uh, it'd be wrong for me to say that I sit him down. No, um, of course, we have them discussions, um, just just as we did with any manager that's been here. We have a, we'll have at least a... I go and see him first thing every morning, so we'll talk about if he needs players there uh, to go and train with him. Then we'll send players up. He always asks who's doing well, so he knows who's doing well from the younger players. Uh, if he thinks anybody, if we think anybody's pushing, then obviously we'll push them lads forward to him as well. And then that'll depend on what he's got in his head, in his head for the training in that week. But it must be really good to see the likes of Dan Turner coming back into the frame. He he was on the bench on Saturday against Cambridge. He hadn't featured all season for Port Vale, and it and his loan spell didn't really work. But it must be good to see, you know, the players get a new a, a chance, a clean slate with a new gaffer. Yeah, all the lads there, they're all on the, on the same level now. So, And that happens at any club when a new gaffer comes in. Everybody thinks they've got a chance again, and, and they have. Because, as I've just said, he will come in with his ideas of how he wants to play the game. And, and one person's um, player who they might think is brilliant and one that they don't think is going to fit in their plans, when another manager comes in, everything changes because that player who didn't fit in all of a sudden might just be the, the crucial part to, to something happening. Can you offer advice to some of the younger players that you've guided through their careers, the likes of Dan Turner, Harry Benz and that? Do you sort of give them a tap on the shoulder and think, look, you can impress this new manager now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the lads, you know, even the pros, they'll come in, they'll have a chat with us, they'll ask our opinion on what, they, what we think they can do better. We'll give them that, that opinion if they ask for it. But like you've just said, the, the younger players, we probably spend a little bit more time with those than, than the senior pros because... Um, they're, they're still growing with the game, they're still learning, they're all still learning, but we'll try and push them and give them information uh, and, and try and kick them on again.